Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Dipika Tapadia. Today I will be discussing a next important concept that is cost volume profit analysis. Before that, the basic definition, what do you mean by cost volume profit analysis? Cost volume profit analysis is an attempt to measure the effect of change in volume, cost, price, and product mix on profit the cost volume profit analysis is also known as break even analysis cost volume profit analysis is a systematic method of examining the effect of changes in an organization volume of activity on its cost revenue and profit break even point next is break even point what do you mean by break even point break even point is that level of production in a firm where total sales volume is just equal to total cost so that this point the firm neither earn profit nor loss so break even point is the point where there is no profit no loss condition the company will earn neither profit nor loss it is the point at which sales revenue equals the cost to make and sell the product and no profit no loss is reported next there are few methods of calculating break even analysis number 1 contribution method number 2 profit volume ratio method number 3 break even point method and fourth is margin of safety method we will discuss this method one by one first is contribution method contribution is known as how we will cal calculate the contribution contribution is equal to sale value minus variable cost contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit this is two a uh, two methods a two formula to calculate contribution but at break even point there is neither loss nor profit so the contribution margin at break even point is equal to fixed cost contribution is equal to fixed cost because in break even point there is no profit no loss condition so at bep contribution is written as c is equal to f c means contribution f means fixed cost next how to calculate break even point according to contribution margin technique break even point is calculated as fixed cost upon selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit so fixed cost is equal to, is uh, fixed cost upon selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit is contribution margin per unit next is profit volume ratio method profit volume ratio is also known as contribution margin ratio this ratio is an indication of profit of business uh, this ratio basically indicates the profitability of the business the other uh, we call profit volume ratio as pv ratio pv ratio is equal to sales minus variable cost upon sales that is s minus v upon s and the second formula is pv ratio is equal to fixed cost plus profit upon sales that is f plus p upon sales next some important features of profit volume ratio number 1 it is the ratio of contribution to sales second this ratio is usually expressed in percentage third the higher the pv ratio the better is it is good if the pv ratio is higher it is good for the company the company's condition is good next it indicates the effect on profit for a given change in the sales next it measures the profitability of each product next it measures the profitability of each product process operation etc it facilitate 
managerial decision making so these are some of the important features or natures of profit volume ratio next uh, how uh, we have already discussed the formula of pv ratio now we will discuss further or we will understand it further with the help of example say for example company sales are 10 lakh at the rate of rupees 10 per unit its fixed cost is 2 lakh 50000 and variable cost is 6 lakh we need to calculate pv ratio so let us calculate firstly what is the formula of pv ratio contribution upon sales multiplied by 100 so firstly we need to calculate contribution and what is the formula of contribution sales minus variable cost sales is 10 lakh variable cost is 6 lakh so the contribution will be 4 lakh and pv ratio is equal to contribution upon sales multiplied by 100 contribution is 4 lakh which we have already calculated upon 10 lakh is the sales multiplied by 100 so the pv ratio is 40 percent this is the way how we calculate pv ratio next is break even point break even point is the point of sales of the company wherein total sales cover exactly its total cost and there is no profit no loss at that point of sales the company can make profit when its sales exceed break even point it means uh, break even point is the point where the company will incur no profit no loss and if the company needs profit then the company needs to go beyond the break even point so the formula of break even point it is in units and in rupees so break even point in rupees in unit is equal to fixed cost upon selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit this is the formula to calculate break even point in units next break even point in rupees break even point in rupees is, is equal to fixed cost upon pv ratio this is two formulas two different formulas to calculate break even point next uh, we will un we will understand break even point with the help of example pv ratio is 20% fixed cost is 5000 we need to calculate break even point so break even point is fixed cost upon pv ratio fixed cost is 5000 upon pv ratio is 20% so the break even point is rupees 25000 next is margin of safety margin of safety is a financial ratio that measures the amount of sales that have exceed the break even point it means the sales above the break even point that sales is known as margin of safety to remain profitable the company must have a positive margin of safety if the company is having negative margin of safety it means company is incurring loss so margin of safety in unit is equal to current sales in unit minus break even sales in unit margin of safety in rupees is equal to current sales in rupees minus break even point sales in rupees now we will discuss it with the help of an example if company a made rupees 2 lakh in sales with a break even point of rupees 1 lakh then what will be the margin of safety so margin of safety is equal to sales minus break even sales so sales is 2 lakh and break even sale is 1 lakh so margin of safety will be 1 lakh 2 lakh minus 1 lakh is 1 lakh next uh, i'll discuss few calculations like selling price is rupees 150 per unit variable cost is 90 per unit 90 rupees per unit fixed cost is 6 lakh what is the break even point and what is the selling price per unit if break even point is 12000 unit in this we have two we need to calculate two points number 1 
ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू फिक्स कॉस्ट अपॉन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट फिक्स कॉस्ट इज सिक्स लैख एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सो फिक्स कॉस्ट इज सिक्स लैख अपॉन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सेलिंग प्राइस इज वन फिफ्टी माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज नाइन्टी सो the final contribution will be सिक्सटी वन फिफ्टी माइनस नाइन्टी सो ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स लैख अपॉन सिक्सटी सो इट इज टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स नेक्स्ट सेकेंड पॉइंट वॉट इज द सेलिंग प्राइस पर यूनिट इफ द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सो वेन द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड यूनिट वॉट विल बी द सेलिंग प्राइस पर यूनिट सो हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट Um, when break even point is twelve thousand unit contribution is calculated as break even point is equal to fixed cost upon contribution per unit break even point is twelve thousand is equal to six lakh uh, fixed cost is six lakh upon contribution then contribution is equal to six lakh upon twelve thousand that is rupees fifty so break even uh, contribution is rupees 50 so we need to calculate sales so contribution is equal to sales minus variable cost contribution is already we have calculated above 50 is equal to sales minus variable cost is 90 so finally the sales is 140 so when the break even point is 12000 unit our sales will be 140 next what are the benefits of break even analysis number 1 pricing break even analysis is a very valuable technique for a corporation it demonstrated how many things they must sell in order to make a profit it determines if the product is worth selling or it's too dangerous to sell it indicates how much money the company will make at each level of output second benefit of break even analysis is gaining fund when it comes to collecting financing break even analysis is useful and important part of company strategy next setting revenue target break even analysis may also be a useful tool for determining precise sales goal for your team when you have a precise quantity and a time frame in mind it's typically easier to decide on revenue goal relying relying on accurate data correct data is required for your break even point to be accurate you don't obtain a trustworthy result if you don't enter good data into the calculation last benefit make better choice entrepreneur that are successfully makes judgment based on fact when you have put in the effort and have meaningful data in front of you making a decision will be much easier so these are some of the benefits of break even now we will discuss some limitations number 1 the assumptions behind break even analysis is that all cost and spending can be clearly divided into fixed and variable component in reality however a clear distinction between fixed and variable expenses may be difficult to make next the quantity of capital used in the firm is not taken into account in the break even analysis in reality the amount of capital utilized is the key factor in determining the company's profitability next fixed costs are assumed to be constant at all the level of activity fixed expense it should be mentioned tend to vary after a given degree of activity lastly it rare to discover the assumption that must one product will be created or that the product mix would remain stable so these are some limitations of break even point so uh, break even analysis is very much important to check uh, where there is a point where there is no profit no loss condition it is very important for the company to know their break even point thank you so much